Another episode of the Investment Properties Sales Show thing is selling at or above list. We are going to provide you guys with complete transparency and education. We take you to the video tour. Won't lie to you, giving it to you straight. Welcome to another episode of the Investment Properties for Sale Show. This is the number one location where people like you go to bid on investment properties in the Cleveland market. Deal I got for y'all today, 4302 Fenwick, Cleveland, 44113. Now, if you've been paying attention to the Cleveland market in 2021, you know rental properties, are the demand. It's at an all-time high, right? And what we have here... Little single, man, just a little solid single priced at 64.9. If you've been paying attention, you know with this incredibly high demand, it is next to impossible to pick something up in a decent neighborhood like this for anywhere less than 100K, right? The fact that we got this thing listed at 65, it's because we want to move it. We want to move it immediately. We want to create a bidding war, man. This is the perfect, the perfect little house, right? It's kind of like you get tenants. Uh, that are interested in living in like a small unit, right? But they don't want to deal uh, with, with having a neighbor living above or below them in an apartment building or a duplex, right? It's kind of like a little apartment, but you get your own home, right? You don't have to deal with neighbors. You get a little yard, right? So what we see in little homes like this, right? We typically see a longer stay in tenancy than a comparable square foot sized apartment or multifamily unit, right? And if you've been watching my content, watching the content we're producing here on Holton Lies TV, you'll know that the number one killer of our rental returns as real estate investors, folks, is turnover, right? Turnover. If you look, the market rent on this, yeah, we could probably get this up to 950 because it's a super high demand neighborhood. We're not renting it at 950 right now. Tenants been in there quite a while. We don't make our money, we don't make our careers by getting that rent up. We make our money, make our careers by keeping that tenant in there. Yes, we'll eventually want to work that tenant up, but I don't think we want to do it immediately because what we don't want to have is that tenant move out and then we got to turn the unit, right? You lose money when they're not in there. You lose money when you got to pay a leasing fee to put somebody else in there. You lose money paying to renovate and re-renovate and re-renovate the same spaces over and over again, right? Oftentimes when people move out, at the very least, you got to repaint everything, right? That's money out of your pocket, right? Typically, these costs of an unnecessary artificial turnover will exceed the loss of rent from current rent to market rent, right? So I want you guys to think about that, right? Because what I like to do here on Holt Wise TV on these shows, yeah, the whole purpose is to sell you real estate, provide a place where people can buy the investment properties of their choosing. But I also want to provide you guys with strategy, education, and a look, a transparent look into what the process, into what your ownership experiences are really going to be like. So if this property makes sense for you, send your offers to sales at holtonwise.com. Include your phone number, proof of funds, and pre-approval letters if you're using a lender. Don't have to be cash. Finance offers are just fine. As a matter of fact, finance offers, in my opinion, are great for buyers like you because it's an additional layer of due diligence, right? If you're going into a new market, you want to make sure you do your due diligence to verify you're not getting ripped off. You do that in a couple ways. One is your own private third-party home inspection. You want to make sure the house is doesn't necessarily mean it has to be in perfect shape. It's probably not going to happen, right? You guys are buying super old properties in the Cleveland market. There's going to be no perfect house. But what you're doing is making sure the price reflects accurately upon the condition of the home, right? If similar homes are in that condition, that's fine if it's priced correctly, right? That's one thing. And then the second thing kind of ties into that is an appraisal, right? You use financing. The bank's putting up 75% of the money. You're only putting up 25% of the money. The bank ain't going to let you make a dumb decision and lose their money. They ain't going to do that. The bank's not sitting there. Wells Fargo's not like, oh, hey, Billy Bob from California wants to gamble with us $40,000 of our money. He seems like a smart cat. Let's let him do it. No, no, no. It's not how this game works, folks, right? So you get that inspection that's doing your due diligence. Then you bring in a lender. They're making sure you don't overpay for the property because they ain't letting you use or lose their money on a bad investment. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.